hi guys hey loves it's your boys and cupcakes welcome back to my channel i look totally a mess but i mean it is what it is we gotta keep it moving we gotta keep it flowing like water and today like um sorry and today i'm doing a chit chat ready get ready with me where i'll be telling you guys how i found out i was pregnant and how i told my boyfriend my mother and even one else for you about it i hope you're gonna like this video don't forget to like comment and even subscribe down below so we can grow this huge family into a bigger and better 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 things so i've already tried to do my um my eyebrows they're not perfect i mean could have been better but i mean i mean what can i do right now at this moment i'm just so fucking pregnant and it's disgusting but it's almost over we're gonna look towards that so i'm just gonna try to prime my eyelids because i'm gonna do my eyebrows now and i'm gonna use this brush and i'm gonna use this concealer i bought it from mmq which is from the brand as it uses medifying so yeah so let's just get into it so you probably know right now that i am flipping pregnant and yeah so we're just gonna chat through how i found out so how did i find out i was pregnant obviously i took a test so prior to that what happened was that okay so i was in a relationship obviously but it wasn't the base relationship to be quite honest it was a bit messy and you know just all over the place and me and my boyfriend we were not in speaking terms at that time uh we were, i was mad at him and we just like whatever it is what it is so during the time um, we were not talking a lot of things were kind of happening within my body and yes so do not disturb me so yeah so i was working i'm talking alone to the camera actually so i was working going to work every day nothing different but i was kind of noticing some body changes such as my nipples why are you looking at me do you think oh, my nipples would get um painful and so flipping painful and it was not even winter that time i was almost winter but yeah things like that and what else started to change and i didn't exactly have morning sickness because everything was fine what was wrong i don't know i didn't really have morning sickness because i was vomiting and all of this stuff it's just my nipples would get painful and i was like moody as hell and just emotional and all over the place and i think deep down i kind of you know i was pregnant but i was just like uh i don't want to know about it right now so weeks went by and i was like sweetie you gotta do the things that needs to be done because i mean you gotta know what's popping because obviously right now like everything is starting to change and i'm just like going through the most and i'm not talking to boyfriend and stuff like that so end of the month of august august September, yeah august i finally august 2019 i took the taste and came positive and i was like oh my god yeah and then i told my sister i'm a big sister so right now i'm just gonna 
use the James palette and I'm gonna go with this I'm trying to find a shade I want something very neutral and very blackish and very cute so I'm just gonna use this this as my what what yeah you see what I'm trying to say so yeah as I was saying I finally bought the uh, bought the test and I'm still not working with my baby daddy so yeah so bought it told my sister and one of my friends and I thought oh flip it came positive and and then this just it and then I pretended like nothing happened and then eventually a week went by eventually and just like I didn't want to think about it didn't want to put it into my head and all of that so what I initially did was just carry on with my life like nothing happened because I mean I'm trying to stress myself like that so yeah and then I finally it was my boyfriend uh, kinda reached out to me and I was like oh by the way I'm pregnant and he's like oh okay can we meet up and talk and do all of those things and I was like okay cool I mean it is what it is we just get to deal with it do not look at me mind your business man. so yeah and then yeah it is August, September. Yeah, months went by. I didn't tell anyone else. I was just trying to, I don't know, deal with it the best possible way I could, and that means just not thinking about it or thinking it is real. I think so in my head. And yeah, months went by body changes were happening but obviously uh, i don't think i have a big tummy so i nothing was showing even at work nothing was showing at that time so yeah so yeah so went to work nothing was happening carry on with life obviously i was moody obviously i was getting a lot of what do you call this much swings eating a lot of junk all of a sudden because i was not eating junk before that because i was like working out and stuff so i kind of stopped going to the gym and everything was just like sleeping and sad most of the time and then eventually i got into depression mode not like clinically depressed but i mean according to me I was like sad most of the time, just going to work, minding my business, and my and my boyfriend were fine. We were chilled. He was there every flipping day, making sure that everything was fine. I was having like all my cravings and all of this shit stuff. And what months went by, and my time was starting to grow, to grow. But no one, I don't think anyone was kind of noticing at that time, because I mean. Which is not that deep so right now oh by the way when i tasted it was like the taste is a four weeks plus so i think i was already a month into it or two months into it and yeah i'm not gonna lie i did consider thought about it to remove the poop but I mean, obviously, I would not have the courage to do that because I'm just that weak. And in terms of, I wouldn't do that. It's just that bad. So, yeah. And then, yeah, life happened. Months went by. Cravings were skyrocketing. And mood things changing. I was trying to, you know, live my best possible life as normal as i could and not think about it and then it was time to um come home december and it was like uh you know we gotta do the things that needs to be done very quickly and by the time 
mind you i haven't seen any doctor I haven't been to the clinic oh i tried to go to the clinic because i had sinuses and aurea i tried to go to the clinic the nearby clinic and i just couldn't get any assistance because i mean government clinics then I eventually went to the chemist and I have a heavy like sinuses so it just attacks me and allergies so when it's hot or where the weather is changing um, everything changes and it was a lot and I went eventually went to the chemist and they told me that I'm not allowed to what do you call this to um, use um, any sinus medication because it's not good for the baby and as well as he chilled and then i had to stop using like flomas to adjaxes and all of those amazing stuff that i was kind of using at that time to help my sinus come down whenever i have an attack like that and then yeah so i went to chemist but i got what do you call it the vitamins so yeah and mind you haven't been to the doctor I still um haven't spoken to anyone except like the chemist and stuff like that so it was just a bit like too much apparently because you need some what do you call it you need what, what did they say you need um your clinical you know stuff man like baby stuff like your how far your measurements they have to measure you they have to do all of those stuff like all the time so i didn't have that so i would like to send my right now and it's um, five months almost five months pregnant and i have to go home and face the bloody music which is telling my parents and everyone else who needed to know at that specific time so what i did because i just 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 no way that i'm just gonna tell my parents that i'm pregnant i mean so where do i even start the conversation so my big sister kind of knew and she was kind of shocked that i haven't spoken to my mom up until like five months so i asked her to tell my mom because she was already home and my mom was going to work and i think i don't know how she did it but she kind of like told her that oh she probably rana is pregnant blah blah and she sent me a message and she's like um i got the news so then we started to take to talk about important stuff like who is the baby daddy and where is he from and what is he thinking of doing about that so all of those technical stuff and all that stuff so yeah and i kind of assumed that it kind of told my mom because my dad sorry so it is that simple for the most part of it then yeah that's when like five months with december that's when everything was starting to show up right now like my stomach is getting big my weight is getting out of hand because i was not going to the gym anyway and i was just not taking care of myself as i should i think you know so now i'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with this color. I'm trying to create something shimmery with a blackish, you know, tone and stuff like that. We'll see how it goes, but let me try. So, yeah, January. So, I was at home. That news, like, oh, okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool. So, my mom was not like mad. It's not like, oh, congratulations. It was just like, or dealing with the technical stuff and my dad also called it was like oh okay so we need to do important stuff such as meeting up with the guy and just getting to know what's going to be happening with everything else you know so that it does not involve me so i contacted my bigger my older sorry my older 
has a brother that is like in Cape Town with me because my family is not where I say he's in Cape Town. He's in Eastern Cape and I'm in Western Cape. So they couldn't be the ones. My dad couldn't be the one handling the meeting. So what happened is my my dad contacted my cousin brother, told him the story and yeah it was like at this point in time I'm just like why is even one gonna know why does have like sorry why does everyone has to know my business like that you know I'm just like oh I wish it was still simple just nothing too drastic nothing too like involving other people but I mean it is tradition and it is what it is so that happened and I was like okay cool yo what am I gonna do so oh, sorry the meeting came happened sit down with an adult and yeah they ask you questions that ask you with a boyfriend and everyone else and that is done and it was not bad not bad at all so yeah and that part was done everyone knew who needed to know and i could now go home simple oh yeah and that was yeah so packed my bags came back home and immediately when i get home what happened was went to the doctor for the first time like a gynecologist and this time was like five months pregnant so i think that is where they could tell a gender of what is popping exactly if it is a boy or girl then yeah sorted that out and it was now gonna be like yeah so i enjoyed my holiday, holiday christmas at home chilling with my family and yeah nothing deep nothing said no one was shouted nothing you know like drastic like cheap and i was happy and i was probably the happiest as i've ever been in my whole entire life at home because yeah it can be learned a lot yeah so yeah, i was home then it was time to go back to cape town again and me and my boyfriend was so crazy checking up on me every day making sure asking me so i'm just gonna go down go in with this black color for i don't know to create a more effect i don't know what it's so yeah so it was just that so now it's time to go back home you do go back to cape town where everyone we at work and my stomach was about to show up and oh yeah before i went home is it home oh no after i went home yeah at that time even my colleagues at work didn't know that i was actually pregnant because i'm just like that person i i don't know i, I don't know i'm just my in business and i expect everyone to do that so january came i don't know how people started to talk i guess oh no it happened in december yeah people starting to notice oh there's something popping there and they're like oh let's ask and then eventually people asked well, oh Anna, are you pregnant and i was like yeah and i was like yeah blah blah not that exciting for me because i was just like i don't want to put a lot of focus on this it's not my entire life let's just focus on what i came here to do but obviously for other people it's just like oh my god and it's just like you kept this long away from us and we're here working with you but as morning do kind of thing so it was just it was nice it wasn't bad just okay experience you know everyone finding out but i still i haven't told my supervisors and even one that is like have to kind of know about everything else it's yeah well so now it is time to let my supervisors know that actually i kind of need i'm gonna have to go for maternity leave and all of this jazz stuff so i kind of told my team leader yeah 
said I'm actually pregnant and they were like oh wow how long and I'm like S five months and weeks that time is in January so I'm already like finished my four five months now and more and weeks so it's like oh my gosh why don't you tell us a little bit sooner and stuff like that I was like um I was dealing with it this is just a lot for me to deal with it and coming to actually realization that I'm actually pregnant and having a lot of people coming to your level like oh my gosh freedom congratulation and all you just want to do is just sleep and hope this thing is over that was technically where I was in terms of my mind so telling people was just not like something that I was excited to do yeah basically so yeah so that happened so now i had to like let if my officials know like my uh, supervisors and then get to sort out my maternity leave um documentations and stuff like that and meeting so yeah that is kind of basically more the most part of everything so yeah try to and this time it's still at this time i haven't seen like the doctor yet so i'm still like oh in cape town i don't have oh no 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 i'm not in january i already seen the doctor because <sighs> um we were able to see the doctor um in like the first of the second of jan yeah before i went before i went back to cape town then i've seen the gynecologist um i saw the gender and everything was like okay dokey so there's nothing wrong happening with the baby like that so that was okay i think that's part of what i've also known like i kind of felt it was like a blessing because i mean a lot of things could have happened at that time but none of this none happened and the baby was fine without any medical you know doctors involved helping me out assisting telling me what to do um i was just all myself and my doing in terms of trying not to think about it going to work minding my business as best possible as i can so i can just get over it which is how i basically deal with most of things so i'm just gonna go with my primer right now sorry yeah i'm gonna move to foundations so yeah that is basically how so initially in essence i didn't accept it tell my mom my big sister told her for me and my dad and it's just, just like done like that so okay cool so what must happen now it was just like that nothing bad no one was shot or no one was killed no one i don't want to disappointed it's just like we're kind of expecting you to be at this age i mean there's nothing else you can do so we were dealing with all the traditional stuff because obviously i'm not married so all of that jazz and cute stuff and how i told my boyfriend was basically it was just like since we were not working and eventually he reached out after uh, after like a week or so of not talking to each other and during our conversation of trying to mend stuff and i was like oh by the way i am oh i'm using the iphone foundation it was like oh by the way i am pregnant and it's like oh flip and let's meet up and have a chat about it and it's like okay cool i mean it's the most that's the only thing that we have to do and yeah so we met up sorry we met up and everything we talk to we talk about it and we were just he was excited for most part of it and I, mean, I was just trying to to carry on and pretend like nothing was happening with my life because i was in denial and it was just like i'm gonna try to move on 
carry on like nothing is happening i don't know why i keep on putting my ears knees up whatever so i'm trying to cover up oh let's see trying to cover up this pimples and see I'll, like if i can be a little bit can i be able to look cute because i haven't felt cute in a while and you just like kind of accept it but there's no any way you're gonna be cute at this point in your life and that's okay sometimes if you know what i mean it's okay not to be cute all the time it's a lot of work anyway so yeah so it was just that simple it was not that deep as i thought oh i didn't even think that about other people it's just like me and my goals and what i thought i would want but the weird stuff is that sorry and the weird part is that when i was like 13 or so, no when, when i was like 23 or 4 yeah two or three yeah i wrote a list of where i saw myself when i was 25 and part of that list it was i saw myself as a mom and when i found out pregnant i was like oh flipping god those things are really true like what you say with your mouth and things that you write like manifestation and stuff like that and those are real things they really do happen and i was so like excited and i was so like scared at the same time and just like overwhelmed at the same time with the fact that most of the things that i wrote in that list are coming true even having the baby and i was just like ah, you know and it's like oh my god i'm sad but at the same time i'm flip so that means i'm gonna dream so i'm gonna drive my dream car are you for real god yeah so it was just a confirmation that god got me in all aspects if he can do this for me at this point and time and why he wouldn't be able to do the rest kind of thing i was there at some point and then you lose it obviously in terms of emotions because your body is changing certain clothes do not fit anymore you're black all of a sudden you're getting pimples all of a sudden you're eating a lot of chunk all of a sudden and you're worried about your weight all of a sudden you know it's just a lot of body changes and emotional changes but other than that for the most part of it it was in a bad experience as i wanted it and it happened at the time that i wanted it and with a person that i wouldn't change for you know we are very we are okay together like i i had no regrets at all wouldn't change a dumb or thing or two so i'm just gonna go with this maybelline concealer just to highlight some spot yeah so in, each, in essence sorry that is what happened so a condom it was people were just like was it planned it was not planned in terms of right now i want to make it happen i'm ovulating let's like, get to do the dates but it was planned in a sort of way that i unconsciously and unwittingly planned it because even during our relationship with my boyfriend in every topic in everything that i was saying i would be like uh let's make a baby i want to be a baby you know i want to be a mother everything was just all around that topic so when that happened i was just like flip be very careful about the things that you say with your mouth because the end thing and all this he always said no we are that and i was like Shit, that thing is true you know what i'm saying so it was just a lot of that so my baby was planned in that way that i can i wanted him to be here regardless and i just it was just beautiful man 
now that i think about it i'll probably go to over and over this experience again just take away the skin part the people's part away it wouldn't be that bad so yeah that's what i'm trying to say so i'm almost doing the most most part of the things right now so yeah that is how it happened and why it happened and how it happened and we are here right now looking at a mess as hell but in but anyway i'm still with my baby daddy we're still talking we're still together in a relationship in our relationship decided to be parents to this cute human being and yeah so yeah i'm just going to worry my face to look a little bit slimmer i don't know if that's gonna work Dingo, guys. but we gotta see we gotta try you know what i mean what do we have to lose except trying to look snatched a point in life all you want ever want to do is <sighs> yeah so yeah that is basically how it happened so, just to sum up everything of what I just say so what happened was that i took a test that's how i found out obviously but prior to that my body changes were happened a lot of body changes like my pain my nipples sorry getting sore um you know just being moody i didn't have much of morning sickness until i realized maybe maybe there were morning sickness because every saturday at work because i work saturday in the morning i would crave I would not co- like function without sorry without coffee and ma- and and my muffin and chocolate muffin and so that's just something that I never really liked because I was not even those I was not even eating those things. Now that I look back, maybe those are my morning sickness because I don't wo- wo- work in the morning during the week, so I was always in bed and never really vomited or had to go to the toilet or to the bathroom because I feel like I'm vomiting and all of this stuff. So it is just that in acids so yeah that is so i took a taste found out i was pregnant thought about aborting probably you should never do that i'm not proud of it but i mean when you are scared and you're not fine with your partner even though you know the guy will probably be happy you're thinking about your life at this point and thinking oh my blood i'm gonna do with my life i can't do this i have so much plans for my future and what i wanted to do initially so when that all happened you know, like, why does it have to happen right now you know and basically so that's basically how it happened so i'm just gonna go to do like i'm not gonna put eyelashes because they irritate me most of the time they would be nice but i mean i'm not, I'm not trying to be beat right now I'm trying to keep it cute and keep it moving if you know what i mean and i want to put some eyeliner underneath off camera and we're gonna keep the show moving if you know what i mean so yeah so i'm just gonna do my lips right now so i can look decent before i finish off the rest of the look of camera if not so i try to make myself decent hope you learned
mean, haven't looked like a human being in a while. Scissors, honey, is quite a big thing, if you know what I mean. It's hard to even put on an eyeliner when you're pregnant. You're just like, why do I have to go anywhere? Anyway, if you don't want to be. <laughs> so, I'm going to finish up this look of camera, like putting on, what do you call this? Putting on my mattifying spray and some eyeliners just to give it a little bit. You know, all and stuff. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and even comment down below. I can't even hide this look. Oh, you get this such stuff. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and even subscribe down below. And keep on doing amazing stuff with yourself, with your life, and accept your situation as all. And just go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Up until next time, God bless you. Love you, love and stuff.